Coach Christina Hernandez uh, CAA Championship Banquet just held. Uh, three Hofter players honored tonight, uh, Kelsey Wills, first team, all CAA, uh, Sophia Black, all rookie team, and Katie DeCosta, all academic team. Uh, tell us uh, your impressions of tonight's dinner. It was a great event, and um, it was at a great venue on the on the warship. So I think the kids have really enjoyed that. It was something a little bit different. Uh, I'm really proud of Katie. Um, academically, she has done a phenomenal job, and, and really has, um, you know, shown what it really means to be a great student athlete. And um, you know, she's had a great four years here academically, and I'm very proud of her, and, and, and glad that she was able to um, receive an honor like that tonight. Sophia, really proud of her as well. Is um, for stepping up her freshman year and, and really taking on the role of being our libero this year. Um, I know she was really excited and it was probably a little unexpected for her. Um, you know, so I'm happy for her and, and hopefully she continues to develop in her career here and we can continue to see great things from her. Kelsey's had one of the best years um, all year. For her, even better than last year and, um, you know, this year just in the CAA. She's led the CAA all season long, uh, been ranked nationally. Um, has had five Player of the Week uh, awards, and, and it's been a phenomenal year for her, and, and just the recognition for her and, and getting all those accolades, and um, I think she's just going to continue to get, get better for her senior year, and I, I'm really proud of what she's done this year. She really stepped up and elevated her game, and, um, you know, I, I think she'll have a great tournament, and again, we'll continue to see great things from, from Sophia and from Kelsey. And you're less than 24 hours now from the start of the, uh, the tournament, and uh, what did you go through today at, at practice? Um, just kind of walk through what we were going to see tomorrow defensively. The good thing about being able to play JMU so many times in the past couple of weeks is that we have a really good feel of what they're going to do against us. So really just kind of focusing on what we want to execute offensively and what we're going to see defensively just going over those things. Um, not a lot that we can do in the short time period that we did, but that was something that we really um, worked on today and, and some things that we'll kind of touch on tomorrow as we have our walkthrough in the morning. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.